Hello YouTube and welcome to another video. I was looking back at through the history of uh, my videos and one of the ones that's had the most views was my video about my wall mounted solar. So I thought I'd do another video uh, where I talk a lot more about it and um, try to answer the question of whether or not it was worth doing. So when I originally uh, decided to put panels on the wall of the house, um, I worked out that I could fit seven panels uh, on that south facing wall uh, and at about 300 watts each that makes uh, 2100 watts. So I also used a 2 kilowatt inverter with the hopes that uh, the seven panels would, would max it out at the right time of year. What happened was the there were some problems with uh, shadows caused by um, just certain times of year. Shadows caused by a part of my neighbour's roof uh, would cast a shadow onto just a couple of the panels um, and just for about a month of the year. Uh, and this caused the entire string to to perform badly. So I had to um, get some of these um, smart DC optimizer units to fit on the back of the panels that were shaded. Um, and this almost instantly resolved the problem. Um, so I got good generation, despite the fact that one of the panels would have um, would have a bit of. Uh, shading on it. Later I um, decided to add another two panels closer to the front of the house to just make up um, more power um, in the time of year when we needed it the most. So I added another 200 to 300 watt panels to the front of the house uh, and so that gave me a total of nine panels. Um, so technically it's quite a lot over what the inverter's rated at, but that's fine because the inverter will only pull what it's capable of output. And it's not, it's not the solar panels push power into the inverter, the inverter pulls what it's rated for from the panels up to its maximum. So um, uh, the panels might be capable of generating 2400 watts but the inverter can only pull 2,000 uh, 2, watts. So uh, it doesn't matter that they're producing 2,400 watts, it will, it will only pull 2,000 from it. But what it does mean is that um, on days when it's um, not quite so bright or the sun angle is not so perfect, I'm still getting higher output than I would otherwise. Now I did have some problems with um, pigeons. Once I had the panels mounted on the walls, the small overlap um, or the small ledge that it created at the top of the panels just under the eaves seemed to be an ideal place for the pigeons to want to sit. And unfortunately they would sit there and do their business all down the front of the panels, which was not great. So in the end I had to buy some of these um, plastic pigeon spikes. I found these on Amazon. They came uh, in a box um, with a set of um, spikes and uh, a container of uh, special adhesive. Uh, and then all I had to do was get up on the ladder, clean the tops of the panels where the pigeons had been sitting, make sure that it was all um, good for the adhesive to bond to, and then just using a pump gun uh, lay a line of adhesive along and then just stick the plastic spikes in. As soon as I'd done that the pigeons were not able to land on top of them anymore and I've had no more problems since. So I can really recommend to anyone who goes to put wall mounted panels on uh, put some bird spikes on the top um, otherwise you will almost certainly get birds perching on the tops of your panels and doing their business all down the front of them, uh, which is obviously n not good for your generation because it will be blocking part of the output, 
uh, but it, it also is quite corrosive stuff and it's, it's not really good for them anyway, so you'll be up there cleaning it all the time. So I would definitely recommend getting some pigeon spikes. So here you can see the tops of the panels um, with the um, pigeon spikes in position. Uh, and that, again, like I was saying, just, just helps to stop the pigeons landing there, uh, using it as a perch and doing their business all down the front of the panels. So I've got some footage um, here, a time lapse of um, the sun um, on, on a pretty clear sunny day uh, coming across the wall mounted panels and um, in sync with that is the actual generation graph. So you can see that uh, by midday uh, we are in fact getting the full 2 kilowatts that the inverter is capable of producing um, and so uh, it really is a, a welcome addition uh, particularly in the winter time of year when, when the roof panels um, don't produce that much because the sun angle is not, not so optimal. Uh, if you look at the graph output for this day compared with the graph output for the roof panels, um, you can see that um, you know we are getting just as good a generation from the wall mounted panels um, as we would uh, for a good set of roof uh, mounted panels in the summer. So um, it's absolutely worth it uh, if you've got the south facing wall uh, without too much shading on it. Uh, I would say um, if you're looking for you know additional places to to uh, utilize for solar production uh, the wall is a good option. Uh, obviously it's not for everybody not everybody wants to have solar panels on the side of their house. Um, I don't mind it personally um, and in fact from the front of the house from the street you can almost not see that they're there at all anyway. Um, only if you get the angle just right can you see between my neighbour's house and mine and see them on the wall. But because of the fact that our, our house is on a hill, um, the, the further down the street you walk in order to try and see them, the lower you're getting. So actually that tends to block your view of them anyway. So from the front of the house, from the street, you would almost not know that they're even there. But um, obviously um, that's a, a benefit for potentially for someone who who is not happy about them being on display so much um, think they might spoil the look of their house or something but it's not a consideration for me I'm not really bothered about that you know it gives me some extra solar which means that uh, I can reduce my uh, calm footprint and, and we can um, uh, do the right thing by the planet now, um, I think a lot of people would probably be interested in the, the cost of uh, building the uh, wall-mounted solar. Uh, it's difficult to estimate. I did a lot of the work myself. Um, I only got a company in of electricians to do the final wire-up uh, and provide me with a certificate. Um, but uh, all the mounting of the rails on the wall um, and all the actual mounting of the panels on the rails uh, the pulling of cables under the floor and all that sort of thing, I will do that myself. So labour costs would be um, zero uh, because it's my own time. But if you was to get a company in to do this, uh, then obviously it would be significantly more expensive because labour makes up a large part of the cost of any kind of uh, home improvement work. I'm not sure if there are any solar companies that would actively... Uh, do wall mounted solar to be honest I've not heard of any other companies uh, or I haven't heard of any other people who have wall mounted solar particularly 
So um, I'm, I'm not sure it's something that actually um, solar installers would, would think about. Maybe they just wouldn't do it full stop or maybe they've just never had uh, a call to do it. But um, uh, if you're going to do it, you, you might find you have to actually do some of the work yourself. Um, so in terms of costs, uh, yeah, we have um, nine 300 watt panels. These are per light 300 watt panels. Um, we have uh, the two kilowatt grow watt inverter, um, and then obviously there's the um, um, slotted channel or unistrut type. Um, rails that are used to mount the panels to um, and and then also the mounting brackets um, and the associated um, anchors for the wall. Uh, there's also um, earthing cable required to um, bond all of the rails together to make them uh, comply with the, the um, uh, solar standards and um, and then obviously you need the DC uh, power cables for connecting the panels through to the inverter. You also need the um, rotary disconnect for the DC and for the AC side, which again is a requirement of um, a solar installation. So I hope you found that interesting. Um, if you've got any questions about um, my wall mounted solar that I haven't covered here today um, please put them in the comment section below and I will uh, try to answer them um, please do like uh, share and subscribe um, to my channel uh, share this video with uh, anyone you think might be interested in doing wall mounted solar um, and um, I'll see you on the next video cheers